A Westchester County family might have lost their home during last week's remnants of Ida, but tonight they know they're just lucky to be alive. Richard Giacovis caught up with the family who instantly found themselves in a life and death struggle with fast rising floodwaters. When Chelsea Chapman tries to think about what happened Wednesday night, <laughs> well, there are no words. How do you move on from this? I think you, you, you can't fall from the floor. Like all you can do is pick yourself up. Where this is as bad as it gets. Chelsea's home in Rye was destroyed by the rising floodwaters from Hurricane Ida. This single mom of three daughters lost everything. I remember my head being underwater at some point, and we got upstairs. We shut the basement door. And then the basement door, I think, flew off and the water just came out. And then it got here, 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 here. Um, and my kids were screaming, we have to leave the house. But I looked out and there's probably 12 cars floating in the street. Chelsea's first floor was almost completely underwater within minutes. Her daughter, Felicity, at one point trapped in the basement. And then the water came in and she couldn't open the door. Well, I was trying to open the door, but like the door is like stuck with water. So you just try to get out. That's all I could really do. Felicity finally got that door open, and soon all four and a neighbor's three legged dog made it to the second floor. Before the calls for help were finally answered, the city of Rye had one police boat that night that they used to pull Chelsea and her family to safety. No words for when you see a rescue team come get you. There's, there's, and you're, no, I can put my kids in that boat. They're going to be okay. Chelsea and her three kids are counting their blessings, grateful that they're all safe especially little Ophelia, who has a message for those brave firefighters who saved her life. I say, I love you. Chelsea and her three girls are hoping to move back inside their home at some point. In the meantime, the community here in Rye has set up a GoFundMe page to help them with a whole list of damage, from plumbing to electrical work, to checking to see if there's any structural or mold damage. And if there's any of that, they won't be moving back inside this home ever. We're in Rye, Richard Giacobus, Fox 5 News.